Well, Prime Minister the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis says the Bahamas is now facing two crises from COVID-19, one health-wise, the other economically. The Prime Minister noted that with joblessness at the rate that it is, COVID-19 could just present the greatest challenge of our time. Altaviz Munnings joins us live in studio with a closer look. Good evening to you, Altaviz. Good evening, Keishla, and good evening, Bahamas. The United States economy made history today as 6.6 .6 million Americans filed for unemployment benefits this week. That's doubling last week's unemployment benefit figure. That just shows how the COVID-19 virus is impacting the global economy. Well, here at home, Prime Minister the Most Honorable Dr. Hewer Minnis indicated at his national press conference Wednesday that the Bahamas has to be ready for generational challenges to the country's economic structure. We do not know how long this will last, but we do know that we will overcome this virus. The Ministry of Health dashboard confirming on Thursday that there are now 24 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the Bahamas, one death and 255 individuals in quarantine. Health officials identify case number 16 as a 61-year-old female with no history of travel, but is a contact of case number 12. Case number 12 remains hospitalized. COVID-19 case number 17 is a 67-year-old female with no apparent history of travel and no direct link to other cases. COVID-19 case number 18 is a 72-year-old male health care worker with no history of travel and is linked to a previous case. This patient has been hospitalized. COVID-19 case number 19 has been identified as a 59-year-old male with no history of travel and no direct link to other cases who remains hospitalized. COVID-19 case number 20 is a 96-year-old male with no history of travel and no direct link to other cases and remains hospitalized. COVID-19 case number 21 has been identified as 57-year-old Kim Johnson Roll, who died on March 31st and is the first recorded death of COVID-19 in the Bahamas. The economic crisis is severe for the Bahamas. As the Bahamas and the world closed its borders to the COVID-19 pandemic, Prime Minister the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis underscored at his national press conference Wednesday that tough economic times are here. Tourism which has carried us so well, so long, is in a state of suspension due to this virus. And when it comes back, that is tourism, the Bahamas must be ready to welcome the world to our shores. However, no one knows when it will return. We must make this crisis a crisis of opportunity, economic opportunity, financial opportunity, environmental opportunity, and social opportunity. The Prime Minister urged Bahamians in need to utilize government's food assistance, unemployment benefits, loans, and tax credits and deferrals initiatives. To find ways to stimulate our economy now, and in order to create a master plan to rebuild our economy and to promote our social development, I will convene a high-level group of economic and other experts to provide concrete ideas and plans to the government of the Bahamas. And this group will help us to help chart the way forward for our national economic and social recovery. I will make a further announcement on Prime Minister Minnis also announced that government officials plan to implement a supermarket schedule to reduce the number of people on lines and in stores. He confirmed that information will be released by the end of the week. Reporting live in studio, I'm Altaviz Munnings. Back to you, Kishla. Thanks, Altaviz.